Is your unused cardboard starting to look like this? Hi, this is Valerie with Now Gardening. Since the beginning of COVID last year, I'm ordering online more than ever before. And in fact, the numbers show that most of us are. Between 2019 and 2020, online sales increased 44% to 861 billion. That's a lot of cardboard. So if you're anything like me, your cardboard has started to get out of control. Today, I'm here to give you five tips for using cardboard in the garden in ways that are beneficial not only to you, but also to Mother Nature. First, we have to prepare our cardboard for use in our garden. We need to break down the boxes and we need to strip off the tape and tags that could be harmful for our soil. It's a necessary step, but it doesn't take long at all. I'll show you. you have these stickers that you need to get off not sometimes just about always you have these stickers that come off and when you start to take them off they just kind of do about like that and then you're stuck trying to scrape the corners well here's a trick if you don't want to spend half your life taking these off then here's a trick for taking them off basically you're going to take your box cutter and you're going to cut around the edge so here I'll cut around the edge of the sticker and then you'll see it'll just peel right off Always use your box cutter safely to cut away from you and once you finish to close it down so you don't accidentally cut yourself as you go. So as you see here I cut around the edge of the sticker and voila it's off. We'll continue to do this for the others. For a box like this unfortunately I'm not going to use it because it has all of this black lining in it I don't want to put that much dye into the into the earth into my garden. So there you have it folks about a half hour of taking tape off and tags off a couple more still to go but this will save me literally hours of weeding in the garden. You'll see. Stay tuned. Tip number one is to use cardboard to enrich the soil. When we moved back here at the end of last summer, the grass was really high, I had difficulty reaching the compost bin. We happened to have a sheet of plastic lying nearby, so we put it over this area. It did succeed in killing the grass, but the, the ground is very compact underneath it. It's not really that healthy. So what we're doing now is we're putting down this cardboard, and over the next few months, as it starts to biodegrade, it will help enrich the soil. It will form a breeding ground for earthworms and other good critters that are going to help enrich the soil here so that whenever I'm ready to plant here in the future, maybe a year from now even, I will be able to do that. The key here is to get as big of a piece of cardboard as you can just to make it easier for yourself and to make sure that you weight it down. Otherwise, the first big wind that's going to come by, it will fly off. I'll also water this later so that this is nice and damp and which will also help add to the decomposition of it. To consist of putting the cardboard around your raised beds or in fact anywhere that you want to have a walking path in the garden. As you see I started with this this raised bed because it's gonna be a little difficult to keep the maintenance done here. The cardboard went down in five minutes I'll put some mulch on it afterwards and this will this will provide a nice clean area clean area to work as I get more cardboard I will continue to expand in this area around it.
number three is to put your cardboard around plants that might be smothered out by weeds or other grass. As you can see, this area here has not yet been prepared for gardening, so it makes perfect sense to put the cardboard around this blackberry bush to protect it from weeds that might start to choke it out over time. Tip number four is to shred your cardboard or tear it into little bits for use in your compost bin. Over time, this will biodegrade and enrich your compost. Tip number five is to use cardboard as your bottom layer or your first layer in your no-dig garden. I will add another piece of cardboard here to start forming, to fully form the first layer. As I said, it's great for blocking out the grass. It's great for killing off the weeds and blocking them out. And it's also great for enriching the soil over time. Now we're back to my blackberry bush for a bonus tip. And that is if you're going away in the summer and you don't have an automatic watering system, you can also surround your plants with cardboard, give them a good soaking before you leave and it will help retain the moisture inside in the soil to keep them from drying out if you're going to be away for just a few days. And that's all there is to it. I hope that you've picked up some tips today that will be useful to you in your garden. So hit subscribe to join us as we transform our terraces into the vegetable garden of our dreams. Thank you. See you next time.